shadow. She's gonna clean up really good, actually. The Eloquence is a really nice product. 7.77 pH. That's a lucky number. All right, this definitely needs a little more rinsing. She's pretty soiled, definitely chocolate milk. Good day, everybody. Welcome to the channel. This is Sager Steam Clean, and today we have a resort area that we're gonna do some cleaning on. I have to do some tabbing of furniture, so if you've not seen that in the past, well, that's stuck on there, but these are sticky tabs on a roll, and I have two different sizes, so I'm gonna go with both sizes in there to tab some furniture that I gotta, we got a lot of moving. Here, come with me. Free machine already going. He's got a bunch of hallway carpeting and we have some tile and grout. We'll try to show you that too. I'm not gonna do a ton of videoing just in case I run into people here. We're gonna do some pre-tab and take care of that for you. That needs, yep, that gotta work. Easy peasy. Okay, so what we do is we take these off, just pull them apart there. And now to make these successful, you wanna put these on before you get the carpet wet. Because if you get the carpet wet and the leg wet, it's not gonna stick. It's just sticky enough to be underneath there and remain in place with the weight of the furniture. I'm gonna go with at least two. If you see on the side here, it's a little larger. Do that on all of those. Okay, so I've discovered that four of these little in a row. They've got dotted, jagged lines on them for tearing easier perforations. But I'm finding I might as well just go straight across because I didn't save anything otherwise. Okay, I've moved these uh, pieces of furniture off this wool rug. They're gonna have me clean it in spot here. Sorry, ruggies, they might be upset. But right now, these larger sticky tabs just are enough to cover what I need here. So let's see if I can do it one-handed and hit it spot on. But they will do the job and cover all of the wood and the metal that needs to be covered. Okay, a little unorthodox how I usually do it. I usually keep the furniture down. Just, I'm not gonna get this wet behind here first. So I'm only gonna do the airy rug. I'm gonna use our Eloquence for upholstery, fine fabric, and wool uh, cleaner pre-spray. I am not moving this. I am not tackling that. I'm gonna go around and under all of it. So this is one of the reasons Eloquence was developed was to also you know, clean those fine fabrics and wool, but be able to do it in house where you can't take out the piece of uh, can't take out the rug, so that ain't happening today. Birdie's already ripping. Uh oh, it's got a mic. Hold on, Mark. <laughs> got a, music got on. a sunburn again. <laughs> there he goes. He's going to zipper all of this all. I'm, I'm doing a strange all this all. operation here. Mark. Are you? Working your way in, I imagine, though, right? Well, I'm doing this. I'm kind of doing up to where you're standing in this spot. Yep. And then I'm going to go that way first. Shoot down there. And oh, that's then I'll good. knock the hall. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, work your way in completely. So, just trying to open myself up some room here. Right. That's the wrap, wrapped up zipper, isn't it? The wrapped. That's not bad. You're looking pretty good yet. Yeah, she's still holding up. Yeah. Well, I'm set to go clean my wool rug. I thought I'd come and check on you. All right. <laughs> okay, man. Now with wool rugs, this is not a bleeder, I know that, because you can take a white cloth, rag for my friend Joel, wet it, press it on it, just press. Don't rub and smear, press, see if you get color transfer. This one does not color transfer, so it's gonna be safe to do here. If it wasn't, you'd have to set the colors with a different type of acid. You'd be better off not to do it in-house, let's just say that. This here, this is okay to do in-house. I know you ruggies, you are not happy about that. If you know, take it out, but, this is what we're doing for surface cleaning to get them by for now. 
how we hook it up, how this goes on, the cuff goes over top. There we go. I get asked that all the time, so trying to make sure I dress it. <laughs> there again, I didn't turn that on. Turn on the valve, Mark. Turn it on. Okay, the glide helps on here to glide over top so it's not pulling the rug up. The rug's heavy enough. She's gonna clean up really good, actually. The Eloquence is a really nice product. 7.77 pH. That's a lucky number. I'm gonna flush it really good. And dry passes, of course. It's like another cleaning pass, but it's also to dry quicker. I'm only doing this half just for the video. I'll get over there and take care of that in a little bit and I'll take you with me. Gotta make sure I clarify, you wanna pre-vacuum these things beforehand. The staff here took care of the pre-vacuuming for us, so that was nicely done. So you want to pre-vacuum, please pre-vacuum. Okay, okay. I'm gonna get this side, this half of it, then I'm gonna start working on the other half. Okay, I'm gonna brush and groom, and then start resetting the furniture a little bit too. Okay, now these sticky tabs would normally come off. They would normally come off when the carpet's dry. I mean, they'll peel off, but with the carpet damp, they'll stay underneath there and act like a slider. Dry, they're terrible as a slider. Just to let you know. <laughs> Got the rug stuck. There we go. All right, you are such a pain today. Okay, just, just, be like that, I guess. Wow. Alrighty. Yep. It's always got to be one in the crowd. <laughs> Strong leg bull. Okay, that's done. Now, each one of these corners over here, I've got to do in here, got to do in that far corner over there all over in here. I'm gonna go get the super spinner for that because it's the entry and it's pretty well soiled. You're smoking me, dude. I just got the wool rug done. <laughs> I didn't have to move a lot of furniture. Yeah, well, I'm still not done. I got a lot of move, moving to do. I'm just gonna go as far as yeah. I can with the whole That on. sounds great. Uh, yep. So and then... Get on that, Tyler Grout, call me when you're there. All right, I'll get ripping. All right. So much for one handing strong like bolt. It ain't happening today. Oh, 
there again. A lot of wear, a lot of wear. And some soils. As Brady says, don't forget your drive passes, people. Doing drive passes, Brady? Yeah. Atta boy. Do your drive passes, people. <laughs> Brady, you notice something? Finally. I think Aaron's actually wearing blue. Is he wearing? We won't know though for a while. Amazing. Doesn't happen often. All right, it's pretty worn as I mentioned. So what could look like soils, there are soils in there, definitely soils, but what could look like soils also is wear. So the top layer of the carpet is worn down pretty, pretty sizably here. And uh, you don't see as much of the bright shininess because it's worn down. Kind of like my knee, wore out. A little more scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Sometimes it just needs a little more scrubbing, cleaning. You gotta burn on it. All right, normally I would work away from my hose. So let me just go down the middle here and show you what I'm gonna do. The camera's kind of in the way a little bit there. Don't wanna pull it over today. So then I'm working away from my hose. Come on in. You sure can. You sure can. Phone. Goes my phone. Surprise, surprise. All right. Do this. Fans in the background. <laughs> They're screaming for more. All right, let me clean there. Move them back. Gonna set it like this for now. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, moving furniture takes a lot longer and it slows you down in your cleaning. So when you're pricing and you know, putting in bids or quotes, you wanna take into account that extra time that just took me for that pile of furniture. I got another pile back there, I gotta move the same way. So it just takes time, that's the only way around it. Now Brady's almost done on that side. You know, of course I'm videoing and I'm slow. I'm just old, that's just the way it is. But we're gonna get this done. This whole section here, I get it in the open, I can fly. Okay, moved all the furniture. I got a big section right out here to do yet. All the furniture over here and in the other corner and in front of the fireplace, that's all done. That's a workout for an old guy like me. <laughs> All right, so here's what I've sprayed. This chunk right in here, and then right from here, over to the rug, and to the bar corner. So I'm gonna knock out those two chunks. shadow. <laughs> it smells better. Well, that's a good thing. What? It flashed like I've got my high beams on. I don't got no lights on. All right, I've only got this little bit in that square over there after the dry pass and uh, we got some tiling grout to do. Yay, more work. <laughs> Mothership must be coming. Keeps flashing at me. I'm in for a landing. That thing keeps flashing me like I got my high beams on or something. I don't got no lights on even. Come on. Either that or it's the mothership coming in. Uh-oh. I better get prepared. I better shower up before I go.
left a mark on the leg. Oh man. Okay, this is wear. This is a lot of wear and dirt, but a lot of wear. Hardly any carpet left. It's just glancing over everything. I feel like I'm one of those on one of those exercise machines right now, back from my grandparents' had. <laughs> Bouncy up and down strap on you. All right, this definitely needs a little more rinsing. She's pretty soiled. Definitely chocolate milk. Oof. Also a lot of humps in the floor here. The under floor has got a little bit of heaving and humping and a little breakage in it. The owner out here just gave two rounds of golf with a cart to uh, Brady and Aaron. I mean, how remarkable. How nice, man, I tell you, This is a great place to work. It really is a great place to live. Grand Rapids, Minnesota. All right, you all know how hard workers Brady and Aaron are. Well, Brady, you're not gonna believe this, but uh, Here's two rounds of golf on them, on the owner here. One for you and one for Aaron. Well, two for you and two for Aaron with the cart, dude. Oh, nice. They said that's a tip, so oh. they really appreciate you out here, I'll have man. to make sure I thank the yeah. owner. He's a very, he's an awesome, very guy. nice fella, so. Yeah, so we'll have to take those other two to Aaron, but yeah. that's pretty cool, huh? For what sure. a day. You're, you're making more money today than we're paying you. I'm doing all right. <laughs> doing all right, it's a nice course too, so it's I always like course. to golf it, and yeah. I haven't been out yet this year, so I'm real thankful for so that's that's amazing. I was actually yeah. just talking with him about golfing huh? out here today. See? So that's what probably didn't. All right, well we're gonna rip in some dial and grout. Let's go get her. Fire in the hole. <laughs> Ricky body. <laughs> oh, dude, did you see that? Just push that dirt up there. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. That's amazing. It was moving out just after I had uh, put down the free spray. Free spray. It started to move some Wow, of that. dude, that's insane. I can't believe that. Well, we're going to continue that towel and grout cleaning video coming up here pretty darn quick. But again, we thank you for being here and maybe consider giving a comment, thumbs up and a like, and maybe even consider subscribing. And we have some good, greasy, good eating type videos and cleaning that we have a lot of times here. So be looking for some of those up here and maybe in our past and in future. Girls, what are we doing? What are raising cows back there? Y'all eating grass. You know what that's gonna lead to. I'm gonna be cleaning carpets. Come on, you two, let's go, come on. Oh, come on, you two, let's go. Come on. Come on, you crazy hounds. Oh, yeah, look at what you got in your mouth now. You, you eating you eating the grass and leaves again? Hey, hey, come on, let's go, come on, quick, run! <laughs> oh no, it's gonna be that hide and seek stuff. Come on, Miley, yeah, had a girl, hide and seek. <laughs> oh yes, well, there they go, hide and seek. Miley's really good at it. <laughs> Woo, crazy, crazy. Come on out of there. All right. <laughs> 